Okay, today I'm gonna to show you how we do taping for the rotator cuff in the clinic. And we're gonna use kinesio tape, not rigid sports tape, because we're not gonna mobilize the shoulder, we want the shoulder to move. So this is for muscle activation and facilitation of movement to help an injured rotator cuff. And I'm gonna show you three rotator cuffs that we do. Now, three, not four. Of course, there's four rotator cuffs, but we're gonna not do the subscapularis because we can't get to it. The subscapularis sits on the inside of the shoulder blade. You can't tape that. You're going to tape on the outside, the top of the shoulder. So we're going to do the supraspinatus. You can see that coming along here. So it's coming on the top, the infraspinatus, and your teres minor. So with kinesio tape, you're going to go down the length of the base of your muscle. If you look at that, if you look at the fibers of how it works, that's the where the muscle is going to match the tape. Okay, so that direction is where we're going to go for. We're going to do something different with infraspinatus. This one though, I'm going to talk about the tension. So for activation or facilitation of that muscle movement, what I want you to work on is making sure that the anchors are what we call zero. So this one, I'm actually going to get her into internal rotation like that to tape her. So at that point there, she's got to try and get back into retraction, okay, she's in that point. So she'll be a little bit of a stretch going on there, but we wanna start right back at the sort of origin of where that muscle sits, right in that supraspinatus fossa, okay? So you're sort of starting there, and making sure that anchor point, which is about maybe an inch and a half, two inches, is at zero. So if I'm starting right back at this point in here, okay, so this point here, even a little bit further back. So from there, what I want to work on is make sure that the next section is basically 75 to 100%. Depends on what you want to do, how much sort of activation you want to go. Make sure you don't pucker the skin or anything like that, but you want to come over the same line of that muscle, right over the front of that, okay? So you're going right over the, where that almost AC joint is, okay? So you feel where that AC joint is, maybe just a little bit posterior to that, 75 to 100% stretch, and then down, and onto the deltoid, okay? Then, that last bit is just like the first bit, zero, all right? So, there's no chance of that pulling off and that pulling off when she moves, okay? If those are too tight, they tend to pull the skin pull, fall off. We want the section there to be tight. So that's your supraspinatus one. Now you can do two layers of that if you like, if you really wanna double that up. The infraspinatus one, I keep a hand in that same position, and for the teres minor, into that internal rotation position. Same sort of drill, however, with the infraspinatus, I split that into two, because we want to, it's quite a big muscle, we want to cover that whole muscle. So with this one, what I tend to do is split it into two like this. If you've got a really big person, you can use two separate bits of tape, if you like. And if you find that, say, splitting it like that and having a single line is not enough tension, just use two bits of tape. But for today's purposes, I'm going to split it into two. Works really well still. Round your corners. And with this one, same drill. Go to where that origin is. You're going to think, okay, I want to start down here, all right? Down at that inferior angle. So right down the base there, just a little bit off the bony part. So sort of imagine like that rounded bit is on the bony part, if you like. And then you can do one at a time. So this one comes up. You remember you've got to have that anchor there, so that's where you're going to take it. Think of where that shoulder bit is, okay? There's a the triangle there. You're going to go around here and up and over there like that. All right, so I want to come 75 to 100 tension, then do a corner, try not to go onto the bone too much, around, follow that line, and wrap around. Now, of course, the insertion point's here, but we want to sort of cover over it. Remember, that point there is where the tension is. From there to there, that's just an attachment point. So it doesn't matter how long that goes, because that's just an anchor. That part is not really doing any effect. It's from there to there, and around to here is. Then you've got the second one, same drill, but you're gonna follow this line here. Remember, we're doing one for the teres minor as well, so we wanna come sort of up here and meet just under that acromion. So you can see where I've been, that's where I'm gonna basically come to. So from that point there, 75 to 100, same sort of drill, come up, meet it, and almost overlay it if you like. You can separate the anchors, but you can overlay the top part here where that insertion point is. So there's your infraspinatus. Your teres minor is your last one. It's basically just following your anatomy. And so if you know your anatomy, then you're gonna be pretty good at taping. And if you know how to work on those sort of 100 to 75% tensions, make sure your anchor points are zero, you can't go wrong. 
So this one here, we're going to go same sort of drill. Look where your Terry's minor is down the bottom there. You can overlay a little bit more. I would, to be honest, just go with the same anchor point. Maybe overlay that bit so you've got a bit of skin, a bit of tape. Okay, so you can overlay this. The good thing about this one, and I like doing Terry's minor with infraspinatus. So if you've just got infraspinatus, infraspinatus problems, I like doing Terry's minor as well because that gives you a little bit of crank. So you can reinforce the anchor point here so you know that's just not going to come off if there's another layer of tape there. Then, from there, you're going to come over. See that set, you basically want to be that side of that tape. Into here, into 100% or 75%, whatever you fancy. Into there, same anchor point. Take it off. And again, same sort of drill with this one. You are overlaying the anchor point of that, reinforcing that that's not going to fall off when they play sport. And there you have it. So you've got your super spinatus, your infra, and your teres minor. That rotator cuff taping should feel really good for somebody who's got a weak rotator cuff, injured rotator cuff, maybe they've got a tendon tear, they're trying to play sport or the grand final that weekend. This sort of thing really helps them get them through. See you next time.